All right, welcome back. So, I've got my Chuckworth RC drag slash full modification, whatever you want to call it, uh, build up and running. So, um, I threw in, I just threw in the Traxxas ESC just to get the steering, everything set up, make sure diffs, everything's working right. Fixing wheels, want to make sure that the axles are going to hold, that kind of stuff. Um, and that the wheels are going to clear uh, the body. So, we'll show you what's going on. Got steering. So as you see, even have the body screwed down look at the turning radius let me get it over here so you guys can see it watch the front wheel look at the clearance between that body tell me that's not some tight clearance seems to be going straight so I'll show you what's going on like I said it's just set up for testing hoping to get it out possibly tomorrow and uh, make sure that uh, my alignment's good that my ride height's gonna be good I went ahead and set toe as you see I just got a little tiny small pack in there so we got let me power this off we got the VXL ESC VXL motor. I am running it on a small little LiPo battery um, just to get steering set. It is on my Futaba. So I'm running a Futaba receiver, an R304SB-E antennaless. I'm not going to be going so far out of range. And I set it up on my Futaba. This is uh, my T4PV. So let's power this back on. I do have a range extender on it. Uh, turns out my range extender battery went bad. So I've got it on this for right now, just so my booster's on. Even though I don't need it on, it's really close. I just rather have it on because I have lost signal without the booster connected. So, as you see, turning radius is good. it back and forth on the table just to make sure my steering somewhat going straight so ride heights pretty good pretty stiff in the back but yeah that's it so pretty little basic set setup it is on a Traxxas connector because it is a Traxxas ESC so, let me get this powered off. 
I'm going to have to get some batteries in my Futaba. But we'll take a look and see how the, how the little build is. So everything's pretty lightweight. I still don't have the wheelie bar and I'm still waiting for the motor ESC combo. But it's all mounted down. Everything's nice and clean. Steering's all set up. Wheels, I dialed in the wheels. So I ended up having to put a bearing on the outside on both wheels because I had a bad wobble. And it turns out that these jam nuts bottom out before they touch the rim. So I ended up using a bearing to uh, to put on this side so that I can clamp it down so the wheel's nice and tight and I don't have a ton of movement. They do have play, but nothing like it had before. So, and then the rears, they're nice and tight. No play in the rear at all. So, everything's nice and smooth. Yeah, so there we go. It is up and running. I do have the cut down axles on here. Hopefully they will hold. And uh, we'll go from there. But, just want to give you guys an update. That it is all up and working. Diffs are working. Everything is working now. Definitely becoming a lot cooler. Now that it's uh, working RC. And when the electronics come in. We'll just swap them out. Should be easy enough. And then I do have a small compact battery coming. Because I plan on running a small pack. Um, a compact battery um, so that I could push it all the way forward and get the weight forward to keep the front wheels down. So that's the plan. That's where we're at with this build. So this build is going to be done until next week. So hopefully tomorrow I can get this thing out and uh, do a little bit of testing with it. I might have to raise up the front a little bit. It is pretty low. So when I hit the brakes, it's going to rub. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some Gorilla Tape on the front. Uh, in case it does rub, it's not chipping up the front of the body, which I do on a lot of my drag builds. Um, but I'm probably going to have to bring it up, I want to say, probably till there is where I would imagine. And if I do that... I think I still have, I've trimmed enough. I might have to trim this a little bit cleaner, but the higher I go up, the more I might have to trim. I did trim it pretty high up, so right there would be too high. So I might have to trim it a little bit more, but we'll see. Uh, these, the factory... Uh, springs so i will have to throw spacers in them i don't have a ton of tunability uh, but i did definitely want it to go straight so i'll bring some for the rear bring some for the front we'll raise up the front we'll do a couple of dry test hits and uh, we'll see how that goes so stay tuned for that um that video should be coming soon but at least it's up and running Got the receiver in. That's the receiver I will be running on this one. And I was going to run it originally on the Traxxas receiver, but decided not to. So, yeah, there we go. Um, so stay tuned for some test runs tomorrow. All right. So, we got the maiden voyage of the drag build. Going to come out here. Do a little ripping, make sure that the car is going straight, that the differential alignment and everything is uh, working properly. Make sure we can turn. It is kicking to the left.
and it's leaning to the left. We're gonna have to free up that rear suspension is having some issues. So are the shocks. See how it goes straight? Then all of a sudden it starts to settle. And the one side starts picking up. And that's probably because the motor is on that side. Let me see if I can make a quick correction. Should have grabbed some tools. hate about these shocks. Alright, I think I might just change out all these shocks rather than dealing with these shims that I can't get accurate. But the front's not rubbing. Now that I remove that shim, it's kicking that way. And it's leaning that way. Something in my eye. But this will be a good start. Next, I'm going to work on suspension get that stuff done but there we go guys like comment subscribe and we will see you guys on the next video thanks for watching